Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Iron Panther Presents, an all-black episode, because Stacey and I are both black, and the people behind us are also black, as we talk about Double Cross Season 2, Episode 3, The Shenanigans Continue, um, a, a, as we see, uh, 35 minutes of silliness, um, but worth every minute, worth every minute. Um, where would you like to begin, uh, Stacey? So when someone is in captivity, they should be bound pretty tightly. And Mr. Nurse was not. He was just like, hi, you got me. I'm just going to hang out here. Because the chains were like dangling off of his wrist. And I'm like. Let, let, let's, set up, let's set up the fact that Nurse Brian is back at the Hogwarts School of Hoes and Assassins, stuck between the power play of Robin and uh, Amani, Aman, who are like Amani, who are like so again, once again, Robin is on the throne. Amani and then we're trying to figure out who should be on the throne. Amani reveals to uh, Robin reveals to us talking to Brian that she sent Brian in undercover to get his sister. Her sister, they both worked at the hospital. Like when did she? When did he join the hospital? I, I thought they were just both employees who happened to know each other. But somehow this is her long-term plan. Again, did she tell him to damn near rape her? Like, was that part of the plan? Does Robin know that her sister, Erica, like killed her husband and sliced his throat? Which somehow that, that murder investigation is completely over because of some There's random- nobody. There's nobody. There's... He wrote a giant letter to the boyfriend. He just ran off. She... <laughs> that was the worst. Dear John Lev, I've ever seen. It was so vague. The writers were like, anyone can read this and be like, I guess he's talking. I guess he or she is talking to someone. So it must be me. But yeah, so then, then we find out that Brian, I guess, is the only guy who's ever been like kidnapped and brought into this woman cult of prostitutes slash killers and had the opportunity, I'm assuming by mother, to sleep with every woman in the place. How is this a lose situation? Like, I'm like, who does, what man, straight man does not want to be in this position? Like, I'm, 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 I'm confused right now. Clearly he's chained to a wall, loosely chained, but chained nonetheless. So, you know, almost getting his dick shot off was, you know, it's a little lose situation. So let's talk about that. So Tanya, I do believe that's her name, who somehow hesitated to shoot this man in his dick made no hesitation to shoot her own self in the head. I need to understand the thought process behind that. You don't want to be here no way. She was like, I'm out. Like CGI splatter. <laughs> oh, the special effects and the sound effects on this show are unfucking believable Like that bullshit, like electronic piano that they were playing to, to provide some sort of dramatic pause in this show is ridiculous. Like you really should be ashamed of yourselves, all black. Like, like you seriously. I see. I've seen YouTube videos with better quality. Like, not this YouTube video, but other YouTube videos. They put effort behind it. I've seen TikTok videos with better production quality than this damn show when it comes to the soundtrack. I mean, your, your, your intro is boss. Like, I love the intro. I love the song. I love the exit. I wish I could get that on iTunes or something. But this in show soundtrack music thing you got going on is shit. Like it's. Stop it. Anyway, so Amani again and uh, Robin start to figure out who's in charge of this all woman killer recruiting thing. They had to go get two more girls to replace the, the money that they lost. So Amani goes walking through the projects. I'm assuming the heights. I'm assuming. Walks up to Shelby and her mom. The official title for that woman was Shelby's mom. She didn't have a name. Just talks to this woman says, hey, your daughter's name Shelby. My daughter's name Shelby. Next thing you know, this little girl is back at Hogwarts. About to start hoeing 101. Like, all she gets is a teddy bear. And she she cool. She's like, let's get some teddy bears and some snacks. And she's totally okay with this. She ain't like a mom in no way. I need to... I need to understand, like, like, what did, did she, like, did Amani, like, pre-coordinate the sale of, her, of this woman's child? Like, I thought she was going to just straight kill her mom right there, to be honest. Like, I, I thought I wanted to see, she just 
cut scene and she has this little girl. What? Also, Robin's face when she hears Amani give this little girl the same speech they all get, apparently, which is if your family loves you, they're going to come looking for you, somehow shook Robin to her core that now she realizes that was bullshit. Like, now she realizes that no, these people take you and abuse you and like and brainwash you. Like, this has nothing to do with the fact your family don't love you. But now all of a sudden she figured this out. I see this starts the process of her turning towards the light. And like now she's gonna it's gonna be triple cross. I'm assuming it's something. Yes. They're gonna change the name. They're gonna change the name, right? Because there's three of them. It's gonna be three of them soon. Um double, double cross plus one. Maybe because Robin don't even get a last name of cross on the credits. She's not even she's not even worthy to be a cross. That's real fucked up. Let's talk about this bullshit uh, law case that did not uh, take any time whatsoever. Uh, so uh, Detective Brian, uh, Ryan, excuse me, uh, and his wife, uh, the, the district attorney, uh, have a conversation. Apparently, they're having marital issues, I guess. Um, that's too, that's just because Ryan is too busy making heat for his Duncan family. You can't fight crime and be the biggest goddamn drug dealer in New York City and be a cop in L.A. And fucking prostitutes. I mean, you know, he's not focused on his marriage. This show should be called Double Life. Focus on Detective Ryan. That in L.A., he's a cop with a wife and three kids. In New York City, yeah, yeah, because his daughter said the sisters are at college or some shit and, and he hasn't talked to him or something so there's two other kids like somewhere else but then he flies to new york city as a part of the duncan family and his name is orlando and he and he's a drug dealing scientist mm -hmm. that's the show i want bring these two silly worlds together like yes mm. anyway uh, Erica is easily uh, 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 litigated out of this uh, murder case she was in by Michelle, uh, er Eric's uh, ex, one of his many ex-girlfriends, um, who once again lets us know that the beast is real, that once the monster penis comes out, there's nothing the monster penis can't take care of. Like, it will get you lawyers, it will get you out of imprisonment, you know what I'm saying? It will, I mean, it's, it, it's everything you need it to be. And then he pays her with penis. Like, and apparently she knew the killer spot before Erica did. Mm -hmm. Explain this to me. So at what point of the relationship do you say, you know what? I'm going to let you know something about me. I have this facility over here that I used to dispose of bodies. You know, but everybody I kill, they got it coming. Like they're bad people. I kill sex traffickers. <laughs> just, just to let you know. I mean, is that first date conversation? Is that is is that like we're gonna get married, but not really? So he's willing to bone this woman, tell her his secret kill spot, but yet yet he he can't commit to her. That's too much. Because they all grew up in the heights together, mm -hmm. and somehow she don't know how much he loves his sister. Like he's not like I would. She should have said I would have been with you, but clearly your sister means more to you than anybody else in the world. And I'm not trying to get in this unhealthy relationship you two got. Like I need to, that's what I needed to hear. But all of a sudden she's like, no, babe, whatever you need, I'm just here for you. So then Erica gets processed and her fingerprints are taken. Uh, hey, she's been, fingerprinting. <laughs> he took her home. I don't know how they do that. That's not that I would know personally, but you know. Um, there's not one TV show, one credible tv show that don't know how the fingerprinting goes come on now it's one finger one. at a time what the he just takes the whole this is finger painting they're like we gotta speed this shit up like we only got 35 minutes so let's just stick all whole hand in there i'm like what are we doing then she's in jail with quote her official credit was girl in jail elizabeth, elizabeth uh gonzalez that was, that was the lady that was sitting there quiet uh, why Erica was being talked to by, by, by Michelle. That, that, oh, uh, yeah, the cop, the cop, uh, uh, Detective Ryan came to see her, who's now talking to his dead partner. 
because he's so distraught that she's gone. Dude, you work with this woman for a couple of weeks at best. But he got the arm sling. Though. He got the fucking arm sling. At least he's working with the arm sling. Jim, you know, so on have to have knots, he couldn't do shit. David had to do everything for him. But this dude's like, I got this girl. I'm typing. I'm driving. I'm 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 fighting crime. He's he's doing interrogations with one good arm. I'm like, what 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 are we doing right now? So I, I guess somehow he's gonna he's like he's trying to figure. How did you know the people that killed my cops almost killed me? Then saved you and rescued you, kidnapped you, but then let you go. Mysteries. Oh, I was drugged. I don't know anything. I was, <laughs> as, as the picture behind uh, Stacy was just hilarious because um, they were passed out on the on that stuff. Um, so uh, Centron, the uh, Autobot that is also a nurse, uh, a doctor, excuse me. Uh, okay. Is now he went to the he went to the uh the lawyer meeting uh with his new boo Erica. So I'm assuming her double life is she's gonna be dating Centron and killing people at night with her brother Eric. Mm-hmm. Now, this is where I would like to bring up like Dexter again. Because Dexter's basic principle was anyone, and I mean anyone that found mm-hmm. out that Dexter killed people quickly died. Like none of them lived, even his sister. When her, his sister finally found out, even she died just to ensure that the secret stayed safe. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, are we, so are we saying that now Centron's gonna die when he finds out that, that Erica is, has that double life? And who are they gonna start killing? Like, I mean, what other sex traffickers are out there that are not connected to their sister? Apparently, every male in the Heights is somehow involved. So it's going to be some random dudes. And then they're going to go back and kill Imani. Yeah, I'm I'm always about that life. Yeah. But she she got got some of that Eric penis. So I don't know. He may be like, you know, girl, you good. I'm going to let you slide on this one. But I need. Well, he didn't shoot her when he had the chance to. So neither one of them did. Like Amani and, and and Robin both had chances to shoot the, the cross twins and 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 they didn't do it. Also with the with the uh, superhero thing, even Michelle is like, "You think you're a superhero running around here killing these people?" Like we get it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Wait, 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 wait. So how is how is Detective Ryan? You know the master detective. He no one's investigating the the mis- the disappearance of the lady that lived across the street. Yeah. No one went to go talk to the girl who was rescued by two mysterious strangers to put this shit together that live across the street from Eric. The two guns in Eric's house is not connected to any bodies whatsoever. Kiss my kiss my wait, 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 where's this boy? The fat dude. Is he dead? The, the guy that was in his house. Dead. I was saying, so I mean, what is he gonna go back to drug dealing? I mean, he was a drug dealer when he wasn't killing sex traffickers. So I mean, what, what's what's well, you gotta fund the transplant operation somehow? So I'm assuming drugs will be pushed. <laughs> so he can start harvesting body parts and stuff. Yeah, he's just waiting for Tommy to get to LA. LA. Oh, have a connect. they'll be like, you know what? We got this, man. You kill people, I provide bodies. We can work this thing out, like. That's what I want to see. I want to see. I want to see Joe Sakura showed up in this show for no damn reason, just to come through the neighborhood, just to like drive the Mustang through the neighborhood, looking for directions maybe. And he's like, "Oh, over here, bro." I was like, "Thank you," and he just keeps on driving. I'm like, that would give credibility to this show. I'm like, "Thank you, Joe." Uh, and that's to let us know that that force is coming, because now he's in L.A. We need to see the we need to see the twins suit up and uh and and, and take down some, some some people. I need to see the masks again. I need to know if that's their official outfit, um, because that would be hilarious. I just I just maybe, maybe Erica show up on some skates this next time. Hey, Erica just skate skate by shooting people like whew, slow motion in the uh, in the schoolgirl outfit. I'm like thank you, thank you. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the Hogwarts needs to get burned down. I mean, that, that needs to be Eric's like next mission. Now that he's somehow not wanted for murder and his sister is about to go back to work in the same hospital that Brian is in, you know, the rapist. Like, oh, 
Brian's gonna help get to, I thought Brian was gonna hey she said uh Amani was like we need we need to get two more girls like like a Brian is a part of the of the of the sex trafficking thing so Eric and Erica finally killed Brian I think he's gonna stay in wild though because like a main character but it would be nice to see them kill him for not only just raping Erica but also taking girls mm-hmm. see him actually tied up to something <laughs> and see that fake chainsaw come out and be like bzz, 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 and <laughs> I can't believe they put that chainsaw in the, in the intro. Like, I cannot believe that. That's like, stop it, man. Stop it. You know that shit ain't real. We all know it ain't real. There was no funeral for the cops. I mean, if we're, if we're going to go there, we're going to be like, I see vengeance for you. Like, where is the funeral? You got the arm sling. Where's the funeral? Where's Detective Gomez? I think that's her name. Like, where's, 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 where's she at? Where's her pain? She take a time. She'll probably off. get wheeled out with the blanket. What's up? She'll probably get wheeled out with the blanket on. That's what I need to see, man. I need to see her in the wheelchair. Like, what happened? I got shot. I'm cold too. Like, how you? How you cold? I lost uh, my blood. Soak up the what blood when she got shot. I don't. I don't, I don't know. Um, we'll see how it goes, man. Like, what? Again, I guess Robin's face of oh shit, this this really is a bad place I'm in. Um, is the cliffhanger? I guess that's gonna lead to something. Um. Maybe she snaps again. She she kills the crew. She kills the Hogwarts. Like she burns it all down, and then like lets the girls go. And then she's like, "Okay, brother and sister, I can't stay with you because I'm wanted for you know sex trafficking. So I'm gonna run off into the sunset, and you'll never see me again." And they let they let her leave. Maybe she'll stay, take over the school, and then all the little girl assassins will go out and like be decoys in the neighborhood and start shooting kidnappers and sex traffickers and stuff they'll be all, the whole team like they'll like they'll, they'll take over right oh no check it out uh family business they joined the assassins guild <laughs> and brandy evans is their new teacher like that <laughs> the muslim crew she joins <laughs> brother minister and they move out to new york <laughs> they got they gotta be recruiting they gotta be looking for new assassins i mean they, you know what I'm saying? So Sage slash Brandy Evans slash Mercedes Woodbine is going to be out there looking for new groups. She could just take over the school, just teach them all. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, th- this is an opportunity to bring these two great shows together. I say. All right, then. That's, um, anything else? All right, then. Uh, if you're still watching this sh- video, oh, I see your face. What's up? No, okay. All right. So if you're still watching this video, as always, thank you. Uh, we appreciate that. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. You can like on the video. You can comment on the video. You can share the video. Let us know why you watch Double Cross, why you watch us every week talking about Double Cross. There needs to be a good reason why you watch the show. Like, I need I need to know that. Like, uh, like I do it for the silliness, but I need to know why you do it. Um, but thank you very much uh, again. And as always, as Jerry Springer says, take care of yourself and each other. <laughs>